Wow. So that's a little bit of crazy. That's been happening in Canada. I actually want to share a couple other examples, uh, you know, for our viewers and just to put it out there. And then let's just talk about this in the last few minutes that we have remaining. So in Canada in the last few years, you know, we've seen uh, doctors that have been pressured, you know, against their conscience to participate in abortion, also assisted, physician-assisted suicide. We've seen uh, lawyers being told that they can't practice law in certain provinces just because they come from a Christian school, as Andre talked about. We've actually seen recently a member of parliament told that they could not hold a certain position of leadership in parliament because they were pro-life and their pro-life views and of course in the last federal election we also saw that certain political parties were saying that you can't even run for the party if you have a pro-life viewpoint even if it's the dominant viewpoint of your constituents who elect you that is just nut bar to me, okay? Um, and then one thing that's really alarming I heard recently is that children, there are actually cases of children who have been taken from Christian homes already in Canada because uh, parents are refusing to celebrate alternative uh, sexual orientation choices, you know? And so, you know, there's some very real stuff that's happening right here in Canada right now. And my question to you, Majed, is as somebody who has come from another nation for the purpose of religious freedom, you know, how does this make you feel? What do you think about, about some of the things that you've seen happening here as a human rights activist even right here in Canada? First, it, it definitely is very uh, alarming and, and, and it's very disturbing. And I don't believe it it's, it's, it's will get better. I think it will get worse, especially with the politically correctness principle that we're talking about it. And politically correctness, it is the cancer in our Canadian society. And persecution will use politically correctness, has been using politically correctness method in order to persecute the Christians or to discriminate against us. But we have to understand what is persecution? Like many people think that, oh, this will not happen in Canada, so I will just remain quiet and it will go away. That's not the right attitude. Mm. Action is the right attitude. Mm. You have a voice, uh, you, you, you have a, a choice to make. And persecution is, the Lord said, if you will follow me, you will carry a cross on your shoulder. So if you believe that this is only will happen in Pakistan or in Egypt or Sudan or China, you are mistaken. This will happen here, not to the same degrees, definitely. But if we remain quiet and silent about what's happening here, mm -hmm. it will end in the same degree. It will end much worse. To the level that I had to, when I was traveling a few years ago, I'm going through Air Canada and, and it was Christmas time and and the lady, she said, oh, Merry Christmas. And after that, she said, oh, sorry, we cannot say Merry Christmas anymore. It's a happy holiday. Mm. I told her, no, it's a Merry Christmas. <laughs> You're right. So that's how bad it is now. And me and you mm. and the people that are listening is the only ones who can stop it. And it's so important. And this is what I love about the work that you do. It's so important not just to stick up for ourselves, but to stick up for other people. You know what I mean? That when we see the Jewish community being bullied and harassed, when we see any community being harassed for uh, principles of conscience that are within the bounds of law, that we should, we should be standing up for one another. And what are some of the things that people can do practically? Obviously, we are a faith-based uh, uh, show here right now, so we can pray, and prayer is powerful. We can't underestimate the power of prayer, but there has to be more that we can do than just pray, right? The Bible says faith without works is dead. And so what can we do to make a, an impact on this important issue for Canada? First of all, you have an MP. You have a representative in the parliament. Contact your MP. Phones, calls, letters. Mm. This is, will be number one. Number two, engage with the media, with the secular media. Mm -hmm. Don't be scared of the world. Mm -hmm. The world is scared of us. Don't be scared of the world. We are here to change the world, not the world to change us. And Freedom of conscience, freedom of religious is, is a good thing for everybody. It's one of the reasons that Canada is such an amazing nation, right? So it's a good thing, not just for people of faith, but for all of us, if these rights and freedoms are defended. So Absolutely. We're especially, on the same team there. Especially if you speak the truth in love. Mm -hmm. Don't ever forget the love and the grace, even when you are in a conflict with the other side. Because the very thing that the enemy doesn't have 
and the weapon that the enemy doesn't have is love and grace. Mm. So don't ever drop your the weapon that God gave you mm -hmm. and your ability to love even your worst enemy. Mm -hmm. Wow, so insightful. Majed, I feel like we could talk for hours. We're definitely going to have you back uh, to talk about this important issue and other issues. Thank you so much for what you do. And I just wanna encourage all of you out there who are watching this program to get informed. You know, Share this program today on social media, on your Facebook, groups and on your walls and also connect with us on social media as well because there is so much to talk about on this topic. Let's take action. You know, let's email our members of parliament, our MPPs, our MLAs on these important define, these are defining days and this is a defining issue that will affect not only our generation but future generations. And let's continue to be a voice speaking the truth in love. Majed, thank you so much for being here. Just want to say to everyone out there, God bless you and God bless Canada.